Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the QuickChat Chatbot Builder to create an AI chatbot for customer support. So for answering all the questions your users or customers might have when visiting your website or using your product. So let's go. In this example, I'm going to use this FAQ from a DHL website to provide as an AI as knowledge, or as we call it, knowledge base, to use during conversations. As usual, let's start with a little preview of our end goal of what we're trying to achieve here. So this is our ready DHL expert. Let's say hello. And now let's say screen for printing shipping label doesn't open. Okay, please check your browser settings. What exactly do I need to check? And what next? Okay, thank you. So this is our sample conversation of the of the AI um, solving some simple uh, shipping label printing problem for me. And let's now see how this would get done from scratch. In order to get started, let's now go back to the quick chat dashboard. And as a first step, let's do a bit of customization of our uh, chat window. If we go to integrations and scroll down, you can see that I have already included the welcome message. I skipped the optional second welcome message. I included our header, the HL expert, and our secondary header, ask me anything. And you can also change your, uh, change your color and change your childhood avatar. I, I put this little uh, gift. Once that's done, we can move over to the knowledge base tab, which is where we put all the knowledge that we're going to give to our AI. The first field is the product service project name, which is just a one or two word description of what the chat was going to be talking about. So in this case, it's going to be DHL shipping. Then short description is the same, but a bit longer in maybe a sentence, maybe two or three sentences. So here I just put something simple like DHL are specialists in international shipping and courier delivery services. If we scroll down here, we can see this big box which will contain our actual knowledge base. So what our AI knows and uses during conversations. So how is the knowledge base actually supposed to look like? If we add more rows, we can see that kind of more bullet points are being added. And each line in knowledge base is supposed to be a paragraph of text of up to 150 words. And ideally, each paragraph would contain some relevant information in such a way that the paragraph itself is, is coherent, kind of self-contained, so it doesn't depend all that much on the context that, that's above it or below it. Those are kind of best practices. Um, the AI will still work fine and have conversations even if you miss some of these points. But if you're testing out your AI and you want to improve some aspects of it, those are some of the best practices that you should implement. And we will go over more of these in this video and others. And as before, to give you a bit more of an idea what we're trying to achieve here with the knowledge base, let's have a quick look at the final stage of the knowledge base once it's ready uh, by the end of this video. So if you have a quick look, you can see that all paragraphs are, there are no extremely short paragraphs and they're kind of well-structured, like for example, this one, which uh, talks to you about a particular case and uh, by the end provides a URL with some more context. So this is roughly what a well-structured knowledge base should look like. Meanwhile, our source that we're going to use looks like this. Uh, there are different formattings here and, and some other things to note is um, one, the text contains hyperlinks, which we wouldn't want to use, lose. Two, the text contains some headings, uh, 
questions, um, some titles of sections uh, that probably wouldn't make sense as a, as a separate paragraph like this. Uh, and another thing is that it contains lists, bullet points and so on. So all these things, as you can imagine, would be an issue if we just hi highlight all of the text and copy paste it into the knowledge base. I can show you now what it, what it would look like if we did that. And here it is. So uh, the issues I pointed to you before, one, we did lose the hyperlink. It's, it's, it's gone in the copying. Uh, another thing is that, yes, we have this, well, not only empty paragraphs, but also kind of one word paragraphs, which, again, don't make really any sense um, in isolation and also don't bring much information for our AI. And three, we can see that our bullet points are kind of uh, messed up here. So we're going to go through these problems one by one and going to show you how to uh, fix those. So let's zoom in on our first issue, which is, which is this section here. Uh, we want to make sure that we preserve this hyperlink here and that we end up with a well-structured paragraph. So if we go back to the knowledge base, this is what it looks like if we just copy paste it. Uh, we can see that there are some problems. One is that we have this isolated paragraph here, which is just a question, which doesn't really uh, have, an, have an answer here. And also the, the question gives a bit of the context to this answer here, which now uh, lacks it in this paragraph. And of course, we did lose the hyperlink, which is here. That's why we restructure it like that. Like that. So instead of saying how to import your medication into the US and answering, we include this context in the answer itself. So we say, if you want to import your medication into the US, requirements vary depending on and so on. And then a good way of including a hyperlink is to put it at the end. So to say something like, in order to better understand and comply fully with the guidance, download our guideline at and the URL, URL at the very end. And that way the AI will be able to use it in a nice way in the conversation. In fact, uh, let's uh, do a quick check of how this is going to work in a conversation. So if we uh, quickly go back to the chat and ask it, how can I get medication shipped to me? We can see that we get our full answer here, including the URL, which is already nicely formatted and, and can be clicked directly from the chat window. Let's now do our second example to be fixed in the knowledge base, which is this section here that contains a section header, a question and a yes or no answer with some more comments paste it directly into the knowledge base, it looks like this. So we already know that this is undesirable. Uh, so is the question here. But also, if we just remove those two, then we still have a slight problem that this yes here kind of lacks context now that the question is gone. So what, what we should do is to include the context from the question in our answer. So I rephrased, can I use my own packaging when shipping with DHL? Yes into you are allowed to use your own packaging when shipping with DHL and then continues the answer from above. And let's now do th our third and last example of reformatting the knowledge base, which is this one here, which is quite involved. So we can see it's a question about an issue with printing the shipping label. We have some explanation first then some steps to follow for Internet Explorer and for Microsoft Edge, so different browsers, and then some final comments. So how we're going to structure this roughly is something you've already learned, which is include the context from the question in the paragraph, which we're going to do. We're also going to merge together this sentence with the paragraph here. You'll see that this makes sense from the formatting point of view. And for each of the lists, we're going to fold the list into a single paragraph by, by turning these multi-line bullet points into a comma separated list. Let's see what this looks like in the knowledge base. So this is the raw text, just copy pasted. We can see this is the 
title of the section, the question. Here is what the bullet uh, points look like, and we can see that they kind of lost all their meaning, and they're all just separate statements, which is which is not what we want. And here is how we restructure it into three paragraphs. The first paragraph contains the top sentence here and the last sentence copied in here. But we also added the context from the question. Why doesn't the shipping label print screen open? We include it in here. If your browser doesn't open the shipping label print screen, you may need to check your browser settings and so on. And then the other two paragraphs, we folded these bullet points into a list. We also added uh, numbering to make it more coherent. But what's also important is that I believe it helps to add a bit more context to just saying Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. So the whole thing looks like this. Here is how to add DHL as trusted site on the Internet Explorer and the steps and similar to for Microsoft Edge. So this is how we restructured this entire section into three coherent paragraphs. The important thing to note here is that the way we structured these paragraphs here is that they also make sense on their own. You can treat them as a kind of guideline on how to achieve this goal of adding DHL as a trusted site on Internet Explorer. So each one of these makes sense on their own, but also importantly for the AI in a conversation, they add important context to this paragraph and potentially others. At this point, it probably makes sense to quickly go to our inbox and look through the conversation that we showed at the beginning um, to, to actually see how the AI uses this knowledge that we just gave it and nicely structured in practice in a conversation. Okay, guys, so I think we made it. We're back to our nicely structured knowledge base. So let's just recap what we did in this video. We started with this DHL FAQ as our source knowledge base, and we showed how just copy pasting raw text can result in a number of issues, which we can fix in the knowledge base to take care of links, to get rid of some short meaningless paragraphs, and to take care of some multi-line bullet points. With these guidelines and best practices in mind, I think you're well equipped to head over to app.quickchat.ai and start with your own project. So good luck.